there was more to that, but we can go to our app and catch that. Uh, so let's get to the LaFontaine. We sort of updated it off the top of the show. You stepped down in Buffalo, and have, you've had five minutes. Any further information? Well, it, it was, like I say, there was a lot of rumors during the day that there was something going on with Pat LaFontaine and the Sabres, and there's two schools of thought to this. Number one is that he just wanted to get back to New York City and, and, work, with his, and work in the NHL, which is he's going back to as a job. I, I don't know. That sounds like a lot of spin. The other rumors are that he wanted to re-sign Ryan Miller, or at least try to, and the Ted Nolan extension hasn't been done yet, and there's beginning to be some questions about what exactly is going on with that. So you either believe that he wanted to go back to New York in the NHL office, or that there was a power struggle going on in the Buffalo organization over the trade that was made yesterday, a trade, by the way, which the Sabres are getting rave reviews for. I tend to believe the latter. What do you think of the trade, Glenn? Ryan Miller, Steve Ott to St. Louis. I like the trade, and there's, the, I like the trade, and the, it, there was very few spots for Ryan Miller to land. Uh, I don't know why we have drama for everything. Look, it, th that was a tough job Patty took. He was away from the league for a lot of years, probably worked 24/7, and I'm sure he didn't want to step into something like that. So it's okay for him to step down. The team's in good shape. He's got. A, he was there to bring in Murray. He brought in what he considers to be the right guy. He's moving on with his life. Perfect, uh, Sochi. You learned a little something about lighting at the Bolshoi. Go on. Well, probably the, one of the greatest things at the Bolshoi was after the games, they would put the score on the roof of the building. It was spectacular. The only score they didn't put on is when Russia lost. <laughs> Too bad for you. Uh, but all the scores were on there. And now as Edmonton builds their new rink, and I've seen the plans, they're spectacular. The roof is kind of the same. And there is some talk that while Kevin Lowe was over in uh, Russia, that he got all the contact information and all the information on how to do that. And potentially that's something maybe the Oilers could put on their roof in Edmonton as they build their new one. I think that would be great. One of the interesting things we saw when we were over there was a co-commercial featured Ovechkin until they lost that game that they didn't post a score That's on right. the roof and then it switched to Pavel Vuri. <laughs> okay, Vancouver. Lots of speculation about Ryan Kessler. You buying uh, that he's on the go or what's happening? I think there's a good chance. I, I believe right now just from talking to people around the league that the most aggressive suitor is Pittsburgh. I, I think this is something they would like to do. I, I had heard some rumblings about Chicago trying to see if they could make it work as a number two center behind Jonathan Taves, but Stan Bowman today when I asked him about it said I I'm not doing it nobody believes me but we're not doing that um, and you know I, I think teams also believe that the Canucks are much more serious about dealing Kessler than they are Edler um, teams don't think Edler's getting dealt unless the situation return is massive and the final one is Eddie Lack is starting the game here tomorrow and Roberto Luongo is backing up and, and he was disappointed about it and I don't know what the choice is that they just made the decision that Lack is going and he's played extremely well but I think some people are wondering if the Canucks are trying to explore to see if the market for Luongo is any easier than it was last year now that everybody's kind of calmed down about the whole thing what's your read on Vancouver Glenn there is Eddie Lack came back from the break. He's played two games. He's given up He's been great. one goal. Mm -hmm. And you don't you're not going to play him? I mean, why not play the kid? You had Luongo, you lost seven in a row. You come back. It's about winning hockey games. It's not about the drama of goaltending. So, you know, I look at it in a much different situation. I look at it, he deserves to play. Play him. They need the points. They need to win. It's an organization that's, with a loaded gun to their head. That's sort of interesting, but I'm more interested in Kessler and the fact that it looks like Vancouver's ready to break up the, the team. So uh, do, you, do you agree that Kessler might be uh, yeah, shipped? I, I agree. 100% I agree. Uh, there's no question that even when he was in Sochi, anybody that would give him a, a bit of an ear, he would let them know, yeah, I'm out of here. I'm gone. So mm. they need to improve their team. They need to do drastic things. They've got very little flexibility with their contracts and no move and no trade. He's a big piece that you can get a lot back for. No question in my mind he's gone before Wednesday. And we're all, oh, go ahead. And I just want to say, I, I do agree with Glenn that lack has played great yeah. and I'm, I'm not trying to disparage him in any way I just wonder if there's something else going on behind the scenes as you should wonder that's mm -hmm. good uh, New York Rangers Glenn a lot of people thinking about St. Louis possible going a destination and other moves what's going on 
He got two more goals today. I don't think he's going anywhere. <laughs> no. The guy's been nothing but lights out since he's come back for the Olympics. He is staying. No question. Callahan's the interesting one. He started off looking for $7 million times seven years. Haha, <laughs> nice trick. Next joke. He's not going to get that. So now there's this big standoff to see whether they re-sign him at a more reasonable number and a more reasonable term or they make a trade. Rumblings today that I've heard, if they do make a trade, an interesting landing spot for him would be Buffalo. He's from Rochester. They've just made a trade for Chris Stewart. So could these two work out something with one another? Uh, I, my heart believes that the Rangers will work hard to get him signed. And just one final quick note. Brad Boys looks like he's re-signing in Florida. Another score off the market. Thanks, Elliot and Glenn. We'll continue our coverage on hockey tonight. We'll turn the corner and start to tee up the Ottawa Senators Vancouver Canucks. It's the Tim Hortons Heritage Classic here at BC Place tomorrow. That story when we continue.